hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to use autocad to show you how to carry out um, scaling right good you know how to perform scaling in autocad so let's just pick um, this rectangle tool and then draw a rectangular shape now we have a rectangular shape yours can be maybe your well-defined um, structure or piece of land or whatever um, object you would have drawn so let us um, try to see the, the distances we have them um, from this edge to this edge to be about 2.1 kilometers right good so we would want to copy it out and then paste it somewhere on the notepad right good so we have them um, control c we have our notepad here and then we paste it there now we can do similar stuff for this other side so we pick this edge and then we also pick this edge so we are having a distance of about um two nine seven five right good so we can decide to copy that out good now we are going to show you two methods on how you can scale this shape right good so the first is to just type scale and that's the shortcut for scale that's sc enter then you select the object in this case this is the object we want to scale right good then we hit enter then it's now asking us to specify a base point that is the point from which we want to start the scaling so we um, click on that base point right good now it is asking us to specify a scale factor this scale factor can be dependent on so many things you know if you are trying to convert from your pdf to autocad most of the times the distances that are on the original plan will be distorted right good so when you get the quotient you can use the quotient as a scale factor so if you want to have a practical example there is a link on the description section that gives you um, a video on how to convert pdfs to autocad right good so if maybe you had a uh, measured 100 meters on site and that's on your plan but converting from pdf to card you see a distance of maybe 20 meters or thereabout so the quotient which is about maybe five which is um, 100 over 5 should give you what the skill factor so you just um, watch that video to get a better perspective so on today's tutorial we are just going to use what a random value so we are going to use 0 0.5 now 0 0.5 just means we want to find we want to divide or we want to half whatever are the dimensions that we have on our drawing right good so you know 0 0.5 is just 1 over 2 so we are using 0 0.5 as a skill factor and we hit enter you see practically or physically or visibly that the drawing has been what has been reduced right good so if we try to find the dimension the distance from here to this point we are going to see about um 1099 right so we still paste it here now for us to have um, a better perspective that yes it was actually happened let us get the calculator tool okay so let me just keep it this way now we have um 1099 so i'm just going to paste it there and then multiply it by two right good and then we get a value you can now see that the value we have here which is 2199.676 is the same as what the original value of the should we call it as a breadth right good of the width right good so of the width of this our shape right good so this is one way of um trying to what to do scaling on um autocad right good so let's um, undo whatever we have done so we have what our original drawing the next thing is that um, if you want to scale to a specific distance so you know we have defined this length to be um 2199 right good so let's say we want to reduce or increase this length to maybe 1000 right good so we don't want it as 2199 we want it as um, 1000 so how do we go about it so we know that this is um 2199 so let's escape we still use what the scale tool we select our object 
we hit enter then um, when we specify the base point we come on here and we see either copy or reference right good so we select what reference so when we click on reference we are now going to click on either you know this side and this side they are equal right good so this side and this side are also equal so let's say we just take this side and then take this side right good. so those are our references so what's the dimension we say we want to take it to what's the length we say we want to take it to let's say 1000 right good. so when we hit enter and then we now take our distance to to measure the distance we can see that this is now 1000 right good so it automatically also what works on what this other side right good so if we pick here okay let's check the dimension from here up to this point so we have 1352 which was what um earlier two nine seven five right good so we have shown you two methods on um, autocad how to what scale your drawing one is by using the scale factor and then the other one is by specifying the distance with which you want to increase or maybe um, reduce a particular dimension in your what in your drawing so thanks for coming to class we hope and um, we have provided them um, solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye